Hello, YouTube. Hello to all my wonderful friends in YouTube world. We're going to show you what we've been up to today. Oh, and real quick, it won't be long, and we're going to be putting a new flag up and a new pole to fly that flag on. So uh, this may be the last time you get to see this flag. We got us some new uh, metal poles today, and we think this is going to make a nice flag pole. It's not going to be quite that long or tall, but uh, it's going to make us a nice one. This, this metal was gave to us, and uh, all this spouting was gave to us, and we need that. We're going to use it, that's for sure. We'll sit in here and talk to you for a minute, and then we're going to show you what we've been up to today. We're building us a little chicken run. Uh, we're about 90% uh, sure we're going to get us a few chickens. And a little later on, we may get a few rabbits. We're going to have to see. But uh, anytime that you have a farm animal on your place, and this is just a bit of advice. It's free. It won't cost you anything. If you build a cattle lot, a hog lot, if you want to keep your horses in, if you want to keep your chickens in, your ducks, build that like you're building a maximum security prison. There is no overkill when you're fencing and, and making it secure. To keep that animal in, <clears throat> our main concern here is not keeping the chickens in, but keeping the wild animals out. Uh, real quick, I went over this in a video last year. There are three types of wild animals. There's three types of every animal, domestic and wild. You have the herbivore, you have the uh, omnivore, and you have the carnivore. We're worried about the carnivore. They're a meat eater, and it doesn't, uh, they don't discriminate when it comes to uh, killing. They will kill a chicken. Our biggest fear would be uh, the weasel. And I'm going to show you around here a little bit. You, uh, just because you don't see a wild animal on your uh, homestead or your property or wherever you're at, doesn't mean they're not there. Um, <clears throat> real quick, I believe that the wild animals, again, I'm going to show you over in here, that they know when I'm here and they know when I leave. I believe that they're kind of accustomed to hearing the truck start, the, the noise stops over here, and I believe they come around looking around. Last year we had uh, trouble with the raccoon in the corn. And uh, when you're raising chickens, the coon, skunk, the weasel is the worst. A weasel will not kill just one. He will kill them all and save one. So that would be our biggest fear. We're going to show you what we've been up to. We got a dog kennel. We got a very good uh, deal on it. Uh, my oldest brother came by here. He Kind of talked me into getting the chickens, and he gave me a good deal on the uh, on the kennel. So we're going to show you what we've been up to. We are nowhere near finished. Again, we want that chicken coop and the run to be like a maximum security, where nothing can get out and nothing can get in. All right, we'll show you around a little bit. All right. We're going to show you what we've been up to. We got this dog kennel, and again, we got a very good deal on it. We're going to put us a little chicken run and a, a little coop or a coop in here. You can see that uh, 
chain link but I'll show you what we've been doing on the top part we put a, a wire fence over the top and then we're going to come again in here and put chicken wire up on top of this and then we have to get the corners you can see and then down here if he can squeeze under there he will and in between the gate here we have to figure this out it's going to take us a little while but we will get this uh we're going to get us a chicken run and a chicken coop up and running here so real quick let me show you around here this part of the property you see all these houses we're, we're not worried about this animal not near as much as we are this animal that lives back in here there's quite a few acres of woods in this area there's a lot of wild game anytime you have a homestead or a farm or you have a, a place that you want to keep a domestic animal you've got a lot of wild ones back in here and again just because you don't see them doesn't mean they're not in there and an animal is a lot like a human they will take the easy route and if they can get them a free meal out of that chicken coop I don't blame them it's easy a easy kill for them and that's their nature all right we still have uh, quite a ways to go before we get this project finished we are going to try to stay with it until uh, we're completely sure that nothing can uh, can get the birds there let me say god bless to you always thanks for coming by the channel watching the video we do hope you subscribe to the to the channel and we hope you leave us a comment leave us a thumbs up and uh, we'll say good day to you and again, thanks for coming by and watching.